This is the Tensor NC lathe simulator. In this simulator you can simulate lathe programs. For example, if we open a file, this is a, an NC program for the FANA controller. You can see if you walk through this program the G71 cycle, for example. So if we click on start first we can define the speed of simulation. Let's put this on 30 milliseconds per line and we'll start the simulation and you can see the tool removing the material and machining the part. You can enter a pause if you want to and move step by step so you can see all the coordinates. This is a drilling cycle and we can hit the run button again and you see the second G71 cycle is being executed on the inner side and you have your part. You can rotate your part in a 3D view just as you would like to. You can uh, make measurements on your part like for example you can dim uh, check the diameter for example of my raw material or of my part like for example this one and this simulator will tell you it's 25 diameter. You can also check radius like for example this one is 3.8 so you can simulate programs which you might not have programmed uh, within Tensor but you, c you might have programmed this on the controller itself and this means you can uh, simulate programs which are not being made by Tensor because the Tensor lathe simulator really recognizes real G-code. So uh, what you can also do is instead of uh, uh, inputting a NC program you can write your own NC programs because this is also an editor. So if you would look at the first lines this is my stock material line. The 55 represents the diameter or the length of my stock material. 67 is the diameter. So if we would change this to 65 or to 60 for example this is uh, my inner diameter. I can change this to into 10 for example and the Z value of my stock is Z minus 1. The from line means that's where your tool is starting from at the start of the simulation. And let's say we remove these lines and delete them. So we now can insert a tool definition by clicking the right mouse button and insert a tool. You can insert several kind of tools like a standard tool. You can use the button tool, a groove tool, threading or a drill. Let's in this case load a standard tool. You can see the parameters within the picture which you can enter here. What you can also do is define uh, several tools uh, which are being saved within a database. For example, if we move to Get Tool from Database, we will get a list of standard tools. As you can see, if we walk through this, li this list, the tool is being represented on the right side. You can also select a button tool, a groove or a drill. and you can every time you can see the picture representing the parameters which are here within the table. So let's select a standard tool, for example this one, and we will click on OK. And here you can select the color of simulation. So if you would change this into blue, for example, and click on OK. You have selected your tool, and these two lines represent the geometry of your tool. So we could now type for example G code like G 0 X 60 and Z 1 for example 
enter and next line will be also rapid feed to z minus one and we can then enter a feed line and let's move to x zero and we'll enter a feed of 0.2 and we can then uh, define a g zero line so this means you can also use this for education that students may write their own NC program and afterwards simulate this within the simulator. Uh, let's move back to X, X60 and to Z minus 2 and G1 and this is X0 and one more rapid feed line to Z1 so if we want to check this we can move to run run to uh, rebuild uh, the program and there's your simulation you can also do this step by step so this is our first line and it's being simulated. You can also use this uh, to check if you did not make any mistakes. For example, if we would change this um, this feed line into a rapid feed and we would change this and rebuild the program, it will not give you any warning unless you activate the check rapid collision and then re-simulate this you can see this s turns into red and you will get a warning rapid collision has been detected so this is also a very good tool to learn how to write g-code so you can either simulate NC programs, you can make your own NC programs, you can also use this for education and this is all very easy in use. So if you want to you can download the demo and see for yourself how easy it works and what you are able to do with this.